Hi, my name's Mark Strange. I'm an action actor, producer, and for this occasion, I've been brought onto the Thompsons as the fight coordinator. Hi, my name is Mike Fury. I'm the assistant fight choreographer on the Thompsons. I love Mark Strange. Yeah. He is, that guy is great. He's the man. He brought so much value to this movie and uh, just was a pleasant person to work with, a dream to work with. Every single actor depended on him. You know, I mean, we basically just let him take over, you know, the stunt sequences and whatnot. The guy just really knows his stuff. He's, he's a... He's a huge asset. Huge asset. He's a brilliant story. person. Yeah. And gave the, the film's worth, you know, so, so much more than we had anticipated, which is pretty cool, you know. It isn't really a martial arts film, let's just say that. I'd love to throw kicks and fancy stuff in there, but kind of action within the Thompsons is purely just very short scuffles and brutal kind of action and kind of street fighting in a sense, you know, very raw and gritty and that's what we're trying to bring to the table. We'll each read the script and in our own time we'll come up with different ideas and different methods that we, you know, we think might work uh, within the scene. Then we'll, we'll come together, we'll start showing each other what we've come up with and usually blend our ideas together. You know, it's usually a, um, kind of a mix between what works well and what's feasible within the time given because you don't necessarily get to do like a 10 minute you know straight action scene you're it, you know oftentimes it has to be quite short and sharp and depending on what the directors want so we'll you know we'll throw our, our ideas together combine the best elements and then when we've put the sequence together show the directors um, show you know show the producers assuming they say it's all okay then we'll you know we'll have necessary time to to work with the actors and put it all together in time for filming the scene ah! You know, he's one of those guys which he he's full of ideas, he always comes up with different ways to actually accomplish what you want to accomplish when it comes to fight sequences. Pretty much him and Mike and his team will go away, they'll look at the script and they'll start breaking it down and come up with ideas in terms of how they want to execute it. And pretty early on this particular movie, we sat down and we talked and I said to Mark, you know, we want to try and do something different, again, have a different feel from the American leg of the movie, which we achieved the fight sequences with jerk chains and wires and things like that. And we wanted to try and do something slightly different with the UK because there was a new family and we felt that they could potentially fight in a slightly different style, in a different way. Action! Why is that, Francis? Because I'm going to kill you, motherfucker. Ah! Cut! Cut! Brought identity safety mats, padding, back pads, all the essentials. You know, a few of the actors have used them. A few of the actors like getting stuck in and, and cracking on with, uh, with the action rather than wearing pads. You know, the main thing for us is to always make sure the safety comes first and at the same time sell everything and make everything look, you know, pretty brutal. He had like a million ideas about different things that our characters could do, which unfortunately kind of had to get, because he just had so many, he had so many ideas, and I think if he had free reign, it would probably be like 20 minute fight scenes, which had to be unfortunately cut down. He let us suggest a lot of stuff we wanted to do, if we had any particular kicks or skills that we had, we tried those out and, and saw how those worked, and he tried to put them into the fights as well, which was wicked. I actually really like rapier and dagger, but we didn't manage to get around to doing that, unfortunately. Mm. The armourer, I'd say, for me, he has his job, he comes in, he shows the safety elements to whatever he's brought in, which was a knife, several different kind of knives, so it was, it was a case of this knife is a, a retractable one, this one is a rubber one, this one's the real one for the close-up, and it's his job obviously was just prepping the actor which one was which, and my job was making sure they felt comfortable, and in a sense, um, making sure the cell was correct in, in the slash. And action. Uh. No, this He's amazing, man. I mean, Mark is... I'm gonna hire him on all my films, if I can. But in terms of the stunts and working with Mark, I learned a lot, man. I mean, on indie films, a lot of times you just do your own stunts and 
you just kind of make shit up. But I think we're gonna get some amazing stuff because he really choreographs these things and he, he teaches you so quick how to do these things. And it's been amazing to have him on there. I think we're getting a lot of value on screen. I mean, you're gonna see some some pretty cool action scenes that uh, that without him, you know, would be probably, you know, definitely not as strong. Mark Strange is like the the best hire on this set, I think, like because the guy, like, he's the nicest guy, the nicest guy, and he he brings ideas, you know, and I, of course I have my ideas about like you know how Francis would fight with his temperament, you know, his constitution, you know, how he approaches things, and Mark's like, yeah, I, I like that. I like that, let's do that, let's figure this out.